I once had a mentor tell me the most important thing that a CEO can do is recruit great people and generate revenue. Recruiting and revenue generation. Recruiting and revenue generation. Those are the most important things that a CEO can spend their time on doing. That means that anything that isn't recruiting or generating revenue is ineffective and inefficient for the CEO billionaire to do. Can you imagine if Jeff Bezos was spending his time creating systems and delivering results for clients? It would be extremely ineffective and inefficient for him to do. So working on things in the business that aren't recruiting great people, or aren't generating revenue for the business are a waste of time for the CEO. But deeper than that, everything they do in their personal life, cooking, cleaning their house, mowing their lawn, taking their kids to school, all of those things that just soak up and suck up their time and energy throughout the day, they drag the CEO's ability away from being able to recruit and generate revenue. So what do these most successful people do? Well, after studying tons and tons of billionaires and multimillionaires and surrounding myself with a lot of really, really successful CEOs, I've learned they automate everything. I once hopped on a call with a guy named Paul Daly, who is Iman Ghazi's CEO. And I was talking to Paul and he was telling me about this concept that Iman follows very, very strictly called aggressive elimination. They eliminate everything from their lives that aren't the most important things. Recruiting and revenue, recruiting and revenue. If it's not those two things, they don't do it. So you may not be Iman Ghazi level yet. You may not be a billionaire yet, but that doesn't mean you can't start to take up the practice of automating and optimizing your life in a more effective, more efficient way. Because the less you do, the more you get. And the more that you give up, the more singular your focus is, the further you can go. I've shown you guys this image on the channel before and I will show it again because I have to say something once, I have to be told something once, but I have to be reminded forever. So allow me to show you this image again of how our energy works. When you see that your energy goes in all these different places and you can only go so far in each place, you realize it's very inefficient to do a ton of different things. But if you singularize your focus into one avenue, you can go way further by just focusing on one most important thing. So. Without further ado, how can you actually start optimizing your life like a billionaire CEO? And what can you do as a 10K a month entrepreneur, 3K a month entrepreneur, brand new entrepreneur, 100K a month entrepreneur to start optimizing your life like these CEOs. So your goal as a business owner is to completely fire yourself. So the first thing you must do is calculate what an hour of your time is worth. So take how much money you make per month and then take how many hours per month you work and just divide how much you make by how many hours you work and now you have your hourly rate. How much is your time worth? So right now in my agency, I make about $1,000 per hour for every hour that I spend in the agency. So I know that an hour of my time is worth $1,000 for anything that I do. Anything below $1,000 an hour, I want to find somebody else to do. I want to find some way to automate or outsource or minimize the task so I can focus my time into priorities that are above $1,000 an hour. Now, if you're not at that rate yet, that's completely fine. Let's say you're making 10K a month and you're working a standard 40 hour work week. That's 160 hours a month making 10K a month. Your time is worth $62.5 per hour. Let's just call it 62 bucks per hour. So if you're the 10K a month entrepreneur in this example and you're making $62 per hour, that means everything below $62 per hour is inefficient and ineffective for you to start doing. So if you're cooking your own food, if you're cleaning your own dishes, if you're mowing your lawn, if you're doing your own laundry, if you're walking your dog, if you're doing all of these things that can be outsourced for 10, 20, 30, $50 an hour, heck, $61 an hour, then you are wasting your time and you're not maximizing the effectiveness of your energy. Imagine if you took those four hours a day that you spend doing all these miscellaneous activities. Imagine if you took those four hours a day or five hours a day or two hours a day that you spend doing all of those miscellaneous activities and you bought your time back so you could take those four hours into generating revenue and recruiting great people. How much further would you go and how much faster would you get there? So the very first step to this is automating all parts of your business that aren't directly focused to recruiting or generating revenue. And yes, there's gonna be management and leadership involved as well. So if you run a service-based business, the most important things that you immediately can start automating and start outsourcing to buy your time back is service delivery. So let's say you're running ads for clients or you're editing videos for clients. Service delivery, talking and communicating 
communicating with clients. Yes, believe it or not, you can find somebody who is better at that than you are. And then marketing, promoting, setting appointments with potential customers. Yes, that is revenue generation, but you can get an appointment setter for $5 an hour overseas that can get way more volume done than you can. So setting appointments, talking to clients, and then actually servicing those clients, you can start automating those things, which probably consume about 50% of your day right now. You've just gained back 50% of your day. And now you have twice as much time to focus on recruiting and generating revenue. This is how we scale to state AI so fast. This is how we went from 10K a month to 150K a month. I've shared this with some of you guys before. My CEO and I, Jared, we have never closed a single client for state AI. He's never taken a sales call. I've never managed a client. We've never set up an ad. We never did any of the actual work. All we did all day long was recruit people, manage the team, and generate revenue by expanding our marketing, growing our sales team, recruiting and revenue. It's all we did. The sooner you can start focusing on those two important metrics, the faster you will just skyrocket. Now let's go a little bit deeper because aggressive elimination is more than just automating your business. It's about automating your life. Think about all the things you do on a daily basis that have absolutely nothing to do with recruiting and generating revenue. Talking about checking social media, talking about watching YouTube videos, watching TV. What if you eliminated all of those things? What if you just didn't do any of that and you only focused on the most important thing in your life, which I hope is achieving a certain goal, and let's say it's becoming financially free because that is the first level in the video game of life. What if you only did things that were focused around achieving that goal and you aggressively eliminated everything everything else that is pulling your energy, pulling your focus and distracting you all day long and you only focused on the most important things. This is the idea of addition from subtraction. The less you do, the further you go. Guys, I hope that you can start eliminating distractions from your life and your business. I hope that you can start automating and optimizing your days to get more done. Focus on the most important things and I promise you will go way faster and you will go way further. Hope you got some value from this video. I'm curious, what is the first thing that comes to your mind that you can start eliminating, that you can start cutting out? What can you start aggressively eliminating from your life or your business? Comment below. As you guys know, I respond to every comment. So I'll be curious what you guys are thinking and what is popping up in your business. And as always, much love. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.